Hello guys, it's Johnny Time and welcome to another DeFi tutorial. Binance Bridge is going to end its service very very soon on 25th of November. It's five days from now, the time of recording this video and this is super super sad. Now in this video we're gonna understand why I think it's gonna end the service of it, what are the reasons and what kind of alternatives we can use uh, when we don't have, we're not gonna have Binance Bridge anymore. So what kind of alternatives can we use in order to bridge tokens from different kind of blockchain, if it's from Binance Smart Chain, Avalanche, Phantom, etc., Polygon, or whatever, you name it, Ethereum, yes, all the blockchains. Now, before we get started, make sure to subscribe and click the bell button. And every time I post this kind of videos, you will get them while they're hot, while they're relevant, because you know that in crypto and DeFi, everything is changing every single day, super, super fast, super fast growth and change in this kind of world and subject and ecosystem. So make sure to subscribe and click the bell button. Now, let's try to understand first why Binance Bridge is ending its service and here we can see we would like to announce the ending of Binance Bridge services at 8 UTC on 25th of November. You can read more and here they write Binance Bridge announcement 2021 has been extraordinary year by major blah 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 blah. As the ecosystem glow grows there are new decentralized products introduced which already attracted more users. So basically their excuse of closing the bridge is that there are other solutions that attract more users than Binance Bridge. I think, excuse me, that this is bullshit, right? Because what? So what? There are other services that are doing the same thing. It doesn't matter that competition and other services are not welcome. This, this is not reason to close a product. And I think that the main reason is actually because of the KYC restrictions that they have. Because if you are following my videos, you know that recently uh, Binance tighten up their KYC restrictions because uh, the governments are, are trying to regulate them more and more and basically they hire the new KYC director, they they becoming more strict, you cannot use Binance in Singapore, etc, etc, you need to do KYC verification if you want to use trading or withdrawing or depositing for everything, you need to do KYC verification with your ID, passport, etc. So, and Bridge is actually problematic because Bridge is decentralized, it's anonymous, you can bridge from any blockchain to any other blockchain and I, I think it's just my humble opinion that they cannot afford it because of all the regulations as a company that they get as a company and that and what they basically offering here a different solution and they're saying here are some alternatives if you need to move assets via cross chain so if you want to do cross chain bridging between one chain to another these are your options if you are a registered user of course, with KYC, definitely, because without KYC, you cannot do anything on Binance. You can convert popular assets between blockchains by deposit tokens to your Binance account, withdraw tokens from your Binance account to any available blockchain. They're basically telling you, guys, we are sorry, we cannot let you bridge tokens in a decentralized and anonymous way anymore. If you want to use our services and bridge tokens and assets from one blockchain to another, you will have to open a Binance account, sign up, make a KYC, and then that's how you, you uh, make the bridge. And this is very sad, but I don't think they have any choice because the regulations that the countries are trying to uh, make. And actually right here, you have another option, which is nice that they write it. Use available trustless cross-chain solutions. You can find more trustless bridge in this doc. And if you click here, you can go to the document and you have a list of decentralized trustless bridges, cross-chain bridges. And my favorite one is actually AnySwap. So if you want, uh, my alternative now that I'm using to bridge tokens is, Unis is AnySwap, which is super easy to use, super convenient. But guys, make sure to change it from BSC because this is an old, not relevant address anymore. Just remove the BSC here from the URL, go to anyswap.exchange slash bridge, or just search, uh, uh, just go to description. I'll put links in the description below for all the relevant links. I'll put link also to the Aniswap bridge. And then you can connect your wallet, which is super easy, super simple. And then you can choose where, which blockchain you want to bridge from. So you have all the popular blockchains. Look how many blockchains from Binance Smart Chain to Phantom, Avax, etc., etc. So let's say you want to bridge from Binance Smart Chain. Um, I will have to unlock my wallet in just a moment. 
So now you have uh, the option to select the network. You can, for example, bridge from Binance Smart Chain to Polygon, Matic, Avax, Ethereum, Phantom, etc., etc. Super easy, even much better than Binance Bridge. So AnySwap is my solution that I'm using right now to bridge assets cross chain. And this is the solution. This is the story about ending of Binance Bridge. Thank you, Binance Bridge, for being for us for help in bridging tokens between blockchains. And thank you and no thank you because we're going to use other solutions right now, like AnySwap. You can use Multichain XYZ, XDAI, Poly Network, and all these kind of other alternatives. And okay, let me know if you have any questions. Write them in the comments below. And please consider if you find this guide useful, subscribe to the channel because I have so uh, so many other useful tutorials that will become you will become a DeFi master by watching them and let's go through this journey together click the subscribe and the bell button and again it also if you want please click the like button it really helps to the YouTube algorithm um, to spread this video to many more people that want to learn about bridging and DeFi so thank you so much I really appreciate it uh, in general that you are spending your time watching my content and learning with me here in Johnny time and I will see you in the next tutorial bye bye